Next, we're going to talk about odd root functions. Now, what is an odd root function? That in itself sounds kind of odd, right? Well, it's when you have a radical like a square root, except the root is like third root or fifth root or seventh root. It's an odd number next to the, the root. And so we're going to go ahead and take a look at what the domain of that could be. Now, remember, when you're converting to and from exponents and roots, a fractional exponent with an odd denominator is considered an odd root. So, for example, let's write some odd roots here. If we had x to the 4 fifths, the denominator of that fraction is odd. That is considered an odd root function because we can convert it this way, where we put, whoops, where we put the denominator of the fraction as the root and the numerator as the exponent and of course the base goes in the radical that's why it's considered an odd root another example could be x to the one-third we would rewrite that as the cube root of x which is also an odd root function so that's why fractional exponents with odd denominators are also odd root functions so what do you think uh, can you plug in anything you want in for x and get something back? Go ahead and kind of write your comments down somewhere and we'll talk about if you can or can't. The answer is yes, you can. Now let's talk about that for a second. Let's go ahead and write f of x equals the cube root of what was this? 2x plus 3. So what I want you to do, and you can take out a calculator for this, is just go ahead and plug in anything you want for x. Whoops. Plug in anything you want for x right here and see if you get something back. The reality is you can even plug in negative numbers or 0 or whatever. You can take the cube root of something that's even negative or 0 and you'll get a number back. Why? Because uh, you can take a number and multiply it by itself three times and it will be negative. And so just test some numbers out, and you're going to see that no matter what you plug in, you're going to get something back. Since you can plug in anything, the domain is going to be all real numbers. And this, again, applies for odd root functions. So anytime it's an odd root function, the domain is going to be all real numbers. You can write from negative infinity to infinity, or you can use the all real number sign. And since it's domain, you write x equals Okay, next example. Is this an odd root function? Well, let's take a look. The denominator here is 3, which is odd. The denominator here is 5, which is odd. Since they're both odd, the answer is yes. They're both odd root functions. Just because the denominators are odd, you can convert it to odd roots. And so, therefore, if you were to convert it, it would look like this. And we can quickly, quickly see that those are odd roots. So the answer is also all real numbers. So anytime you have a function which consists solely of odd roots or odd uh, denominators in the exponent, in the fractional exponent, the answer is going to be all real numbers. You can plug in anything into those x values and you're going to get something back. If you have any other questions about odd root functions, let me know.